from Fresh Off the Hook Thursday. I am not Aaron. I am the Mac Geek. I don't crochet, but Aaron is sick and thought it was important to make sure that her viewers had something so they could see how um, she was doing and what she did for the week. Uh, Dewey is behind me and he's tending to Rhinebeck the sheep who is also, as you can see, ill. Anyway, so this is one of Aaron's hooks and there's nothing on it because they're done. And okay, I'll have to get that later. Uh, she made some cup cozies, coffee cozies, cup holder cozies in lots of different colors. And this one is sort of a um, reddish, bluish, greenish, yellowish, and I think it's called tweed. But again, I'm not the yarn person, I'm the Mac geek. And so I think that fits a Dunkin' Donuts medium or large, but she, I'm sure when she's feeling better, will comment and let me know um, and let you know what these are actually. And then she did one that is red and uh, I think that's a cream and tan and a white and I don't know what color it's technically called, but I like to think of it as the cinnamon apple color. So that works for me. It's a cinnamon apple tweed coffee cozy. I think if it's small and there's a string hanging and I think I pulled that. So, uh, oops. Then she also made uh, a tannish and I am partially colorblind, so I'm gonna guess that that's brown and white. And I'm gonna call this a camouflage cozy because Erin um, is my boss and she's sick and she's not here to tell me otherwise. So yay, camouflage cozy. And we have another camouflage cozy this one is got some purple and some red and some pink and some green and some white and maybe another color and I guess it's still kind of camouflage but it's more of a bright one so um yeah that's a bright camouflage and she did another like like I said a cinnamon apple color cozy cup cozy cup thing not off my hook, off of Aaron's hook. And she, I had to actually drive down for a financial investment meeting and it's the 27th of October, it's Vermont. I know there's always the possibility of snow in October, but it doesn't often happen before Halloween, so on my way home. <laughs> I'm driving through a blizzard on the highway and it was not fun because I think it's way too early for winter. And then this morning before I left to drive, I checked the weather and they were talking about a possible nor'easter hitting on Saturday with perhaps snow being measured in feet for the inland areas of northern New England. So, yay to the nor'easter coming. Just kidding, because I don't have a plow person or a snowblower yet. So, anyway, I think I started this with a point. Yes, my point was, so I had to drive somewhere. It was cold out, snowing, and Erin actually packed me my rugged beanie hat that she made me a while back, and it was very kind of her because she makes sure that all my stuff is together the night before I have to go anywhere or do anything because otherwise I'll walk out the door without it and then call her and not know where anything is anyway so she included my rugged beanie hat today so I could wear it and I didn't end up wearing it because we actually spent most of the day inside and then I spent the other two and a half hours in the car so I didn't really need it but 
like Hallmark says, it's the thought that counts. So, yeah. So, I don't have the hook anymore because I dropped it. And I'll have to look for that. But, I do have... No, I don't have anything else. I have Dewey. And I have Rhinebeck the sheep. They're both sleeping. Dewey, do you have anything to say to the hookers this week? No? Nothing at all? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm sure Aaron will be back on at some point with an update. Corrections, edits, etc. And, oh, I do know that she went to the Yates wool sale they have annually. And I know she bought a lot of yarn in some new colors and perhaps textures. I don't know. It's... I don't know. She came home with a bag. It had yarn in it. Don't really know much else. But I'm sure she will be able to tell you more in detail about that. And... Yeah. I think that's all I know. Um... Oh! And... She's really good at what she does, and she got a box this week from somebody, and it was a random act of kindness, and it had a whole bunch of stuff in it, and it was really cool. Yeah. Okay, so if you have any questions about any of the products that she made, um, don't ask me, because I don't know. But if you have any computer questions, especially if you're on a Mac, I'm the Mac Geek, you can ask. Just ask through Erin, wherever she is I'm not sure. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this week's Fresh Off the Hook, which is Fresh Off Aaron's Hook. So Dewey is going to help Rhinebeck recover along with Aaron, and she'll see you next week, if not before. We'll see how it goes.